Hello everyone, I'm Henry Lee, BlueHeronArts.com. You're going to see a process of uh, me doing a name or mood seal for Sharon. Um, this is the process when I work with you, if you like to have your own seal made. Uh, I need to receive the order and uh, in the process, uh, we'll create a name for you first, then I'll make a preview design. Um, you can make a decision on the stone in the beginning if you have, uh, if you know the size and the shape of the stone. I normally recommend a square one for the name seal. You can place the order of the carving service, a design and the carving service with the stone. So I know what space we're working on, what shape of the stone we're working on. Uh, in this case, we have this uh, beautiful uh, stone here. And uh, the next, uh, we would uh, find out uh, what to carve. And here I got an uh, email and I read, from, um, read for you from Sharon. I want a seal that reflects who I am. There are lots of me's, so be ready. My name is Sharon. In Chinese astrology, I'm born in the year of the tiger. In Western astrology, I'm a Neo. I'm a mother to a beautiful college-age daughter. I'm a wife to a wonderful patient man. I'm a criminal defense attorney, and mostly I'm a reflection of the divine feminine. I'm a warrior goddess. The reason I want this seal is because I have been practicing meditation for a while and uh, have, a, have become interested in Zen meditative calligraphy. I have no artistic talent, but it doesn't matter. Um, so I come up with uh, this seal uh, called the Tiger Prestis for Sharon. Tiger, because she was born in the year of Tiger. Priestess. In Chinese, we have to add female in front of the noun. Priest. Priestess, right? Okay. And uh, this is the design I made uh, based on a bronze script um, in Shang and Zhou dynasties. So it's, a, it's, a, it's corresponding to the content where we are, where we, you know, when we have uh, um, priestess or priests. And uh, this uh, uh, design could be done in either negative or positive carving. And she picked uh, the uh, relief carving. Next, we're going to do the carving. And I need to put this seal onto this uh, clamp. to protect this uh, beautiful uh, line or uh, Neo, if you like, you will, because she was born in the year of uh, Neo. You can see, I have this tool to stabilize it and protect the sculpture on the end. Okay, now I'm ready to carve. The first character is tiger. Of course, the tiger. So I cut around the character first to test the stone. 
there are faults on the margin that's uh, uh, made on purpose to make it look like an ancient seal a relic from the Bronze Age and uh, here's the tiger with a big eye and big mouth So the claws. The long tail. Okay, the second character is a lady or woman. Female.
Okay, now we are working on the third character, the warship. This is a compound word, Ji Si, meaning uh, official to in, uh, in charge of worship, priest. The bronze script or uh, large seal script is still very pictographic, like Oracle Bone script. It will later become more squareized and abstract, but not it's pretty ab uh, pictographic. The tiger looks still like a tiger. Offerings on the altar, and the hand holding some uh, a piece of uh, um, sacrifice. Check the uh, Chinese etymology dot org. It's a f uh, online dictionary kind of website for Chinese character and the history or evolution of Chinese writing system. making this uh, thoughts on the margin just to make it looks naturally eroded and old. It's kind of hard part. Let me finish this last character. S means official. charge in charge like a hand over mouse making uh, commands 
shouting, you know, hands over mouse like a speaker. Let me do some scoping to finish. Next, we're going to make an imprint. Uh, we call this initial imprint to see if it looks uh, correct uh, compared to the design. This is the computer graphic design, and this is the real thing. If anything uh, different, we can still change. However, there's no uh, way we can make an exact copy of the computer design because the nature of the stone. But it's very close, I hope. This uh, uh, face of the line facing the left is the uh, correct orientation. Okay, and we, I can make it uh, more solid later, but uh, uh, this one looks very clean to me. Let me make an official stamp in my collection album. And here's the latest uh, seal I've done for Harry. And you can find that video in the previous uh, release. And here's the next one for Sharon, or the Tiger Priestess. Priestess. copy there's one extra spot I need to take care of. you know in, in some uh, in some imprint they might be different uh, thicker or thinner as you can compare with, with this one uh, earlier so the ink also makes great difference. If you use a professional ink, it should be it's recommended uh, the ink paste. I won't use the ink, ink pad with a uh, water-based ink. This is oil-based ink. Okay, let me make a custom copy for the Tiger Christmas.
it perfect. Finally, I'd like to thank Sharon for your commissioning of doing this uh, name and mood seal. And thank everybody on YouTube for watching. If you need a special seal for yourself, please go to blueheronarts.com. Goodbye. Thank you.